Okay, this is my modified case. Inside my modified case, I have the 105 grain Burger Bullet 243. I have my Hornady uh, gauge here. And this is the ram. This ram here, what it does is it pushes the bullet forward. See how it does that? And once you get it forward, you lock it in. So you lock it in, and the bullet cannot go back anymore. You loosen this up, drop the, the rod back, and the bullet goes back. So what I'm doing here is you put this inside the chamber of the rifle, then you push the bullet up against the lands and grooves of the rifle. Once you get it where the, the uh, brass is tight in the chamber and the bullet is tight against the lands and grooves, you lock it in. It won't go back anymore. Then you take it out and measure it. I'll get a close up here so you can see the action. So this goes, you always start low. You push this till it slightly moves it, lock it. You slip this into your chamber. You loosen up the set screw and you push your bullet until it hits the lands and grooves. Then you lock the shaft in. Then this bullet will not go back anymore. So you pull it out and you measure from the lands and grooves to the base. That's what we're doing. Thank you. This is my drawing of a barrel for a 308 rifle. This is looking down the barrel. What we have here is the outside of the barrel and then the inside of the barrel. The inside of the barrel has riflings. This particular rifle will have a six groove rifle. Grooves are rifling. This is six of those. They have four or three different uh, number of grooves. So what we often call riflings or grooves and the inside diameter, the face on the inside, when the bullet comes into the barrel, if this is looking from a chamber in, and the bar the bullet, the first part it strikes, the, the barrel is called the lands. It lands on the barrel, it's called the lands, and then these riflings are called grooves, so these are lands and grooves. These lands and grooves, the first part you hit the barrel is called the crown. The bullet <coughs> sits off the lands and, and grooves, off the crown, when the bullet is first fired, some gases escape around the front of the bullet before the bullet seats tight against the crown. When it does that, those gases escape, it can erode the crown. And that's one of the biggest problems with rifles accuracy is the erosion of the crown. And the diameter of it, the inside diameter, it's a 30 caliber bullet. So the inside diameter is 30 caliber, 30 thousands and the distance from the grooves is 308 so each of these grooves is four thousandths and four thousandths makes eight thousandths which is the that so the 308 is actually a 30 caliber bullet that's the these are my two bullets i'm using i'm using the burger hybrid target six millimeter which is 243 105 grain and the sierra six millimeter which is 243 100 grain spritzer it's a boat tail, which is uh, 105 grams. So these are my two bullets. What I did was I placed the bullets on my actual scanner. I took my caliper and I measured down. And as soon as I saw that the, the bullet get smaller, I put a magic marker. Then I put the two bullets with the magic markers, which is the OGIV. This would be the spot. This is 308. And when, it hit, when it hits down here at 30, actually, when it hits the... Uh, the uh, point three zero zero is where it first hits it. Be a little bit short of that is where it hits. So in these two bullets, this is 105 grain burger, 100 grain Sierra. You can see what happens here. The O gives are lined up, but we have more bullet in the back of the Sierra because the burger has more of a point to it. So when you load these two rounds, you will get different case capacity with the Sierra. This bullet area right here is extra fill inside the chamber, so you're different. So anytime you load these, you, you always want to start light on your powder, look up, work up and look for signs of pressure. So six millimeters, it's the O give. The O give where the barrel hits the crown, we are going to learn how to measure that. Okay, these are my, my two bullets. One on the left is a Sierra Botel, the 100 grain. And on the right is the Burger 
105 grain hybrid target. You can see the profile from the O give is right about here to the tip, and the O give to the tip is quite different. So if you measure from the brass base, which is back here, to the tip base to the tip, the O gives will be off quite a bit. So I do all my measurements for, for, for rifles to the O give, not to the point. The point is very important for feeding through the mechanism. If it's too long, it will not feed. But the O-Griv is where the rubber meets the road. And that's what we're going to measure here. Okay, I have my Savage rifle here. It's a 6mm bench rest Norma. So what I'm going to do is show you how to measure the bullet to the O-Griv. So what we have for the demonstration here is I have these modified cases my lock and load gauge for measuring the OGIF with my straight uh, tool. Back here is the tool for the lever in semi-auto with the cut screws in the back. These are the two bullets. This is my Sierra 6mm and my Burger 6mm. I showed you before how the profiles are quite different. And this is my sizing die. So what I had to do was I had to take my piece of brass. I showed you last week how to do this. When I, when I Chucked it up into here, it was rough. It had a little burr on it. So what I did is I took my die, I tapped, I'm sorry, and I, and I, I run it through here and I got it, the little burr out. I took the burr out, it galls really easy. Okay, so I have my six millimeter Norma bench rest modified case. I screw it into my straight tool. You just thread it in there with a 5 16th by 36 in, uh, threads per inch. You do snug, finger tight. This ram here, you pull the ram back. You can see in the little window here. You pull it back where it's out. Lock it up. Then you take your bullet. I'm going to use my burger here. And you insert it inside the end. If this is a tight fit, what you do is you, first of all, you'll, of course, you'll size the, your brass. And then you see your bullet, you, you use the bullet puller to pull the round and, and put it back in. As you pull a couple of these rounds back in, it'll loosen its neck tension and it'll slide in easier. You want it to slide in where it doesn't move on you. So this is kind of tight. And that's exactly what we want, just like that. Once it goes in, see there, nice and loose. So you push it back where the, quite a bit, where you're definitely behind the O-Give. Put this out where it's seated against there so that bullet's tight against the ram. So I have to remove the bolt of my, my rifle. So of course you make sure it's empty. You're empty. On this gun you pull the trigger, safety, and the bolt comes out. So our bolt is removed, empty chamber. We take our modified case with our tool and you insert it into the uh, chamber. It's a good idea to, to take a brush and clean the chamber out. So you run it in to where it's snug. You don't, nothing, we're not forcing it. Nice and snug. Loosen your screw here, your set screw. Now as we push this in, it should go in. There it is, I feel it going in. So I push the bullet now into the lands and grooves. So this bullet, the O-give, is a, is a spot where it strikes the uh, barrel going in at the lands and grooves. So once everything's pushed tight, we take our set screw and we tighten it, and then we gently pull this out. I've got a real sharp crown where my lands and grooves are real sharp, and it's, it's kind of hard pulling out. There it is. So I pull it out, and that's it. So the distance from the, the base here of the brass to where it goes into the barrel is what we're going to measure now. So to do that, we take our caliper, and we have our set here. You, you take this and loosen it up, and insert it into the, uh, I, I like the moving part, about midways, where it's nice and snug. Then you turn it on, you zero it, and you're in inches. So we're at now we're zero. Whoop, forgot a step here. Then you have different, uh, uh, barrel sizes. So the, the one we're going to use for this is the 3-24. So you put this in, put the Allen, 
loosen it up snugs in you go tight you don't want to wrench tight in these you don't want to get them real tight just snug them up this is a six millimeter you want to point two four three or point two four you push it against against there now so now we zero it so now we're zero this is where the o give would be to the base of the brass we're zero so we take our calipers here and we insert the uh, modified case square there keep everything square and you slide the uh, tool everything keeping square and you see the reading there the reading there we have 1.705 you want to record that that's a distance from the, the base of your brass to your ogive so my savage bench rest 1.705 so if I want to go 10,000 soft, I would load my bullets and use this tool here to measure the seating depth. I would go 1.795. Okay, now I'd like to do the same measurement with the uh, Sierra bullet. So I go close up here. Uh, this is the ram. Take the ram back till the bullet ram hits the bullet. Bullets back from the uh, mouth of the brass. Stick it in here. Loosen it, keep everything snug, push it against, tighten it up, pull it out, and can you see this, Carson? And we'll measure this one. One point seven six nine. For some reason, the Sierras that I'm using here, the Sierras and the Burgers, I get a longer measurement to the O give on these. I, I'm suspecting it's 0.243 on the diameter. And my tool here, if you can see it, is 0.24. So I don't think it's perfectly the exact uh, measurement at the crown. I'm not real sure what the deal is. Also, I have found that as we push this into the uh, chamber and against the lens, if I push this harder, where it's kind of hard to pull off, and I measure it, and if I do another measurement where I push it in and it just barely touches, and I measure it, it'll be different depths. If I push it harder, it goes longer. So you, I think there's a finesse to this. You need to have a constant pressure every time you do it and i'm not really sure if anybody out there let me know but how you know for the exact measurement maybe a machinist might know how hard to push it so that's really it i didn't get a close up before can you see that carson with the piston the, the the rod going in there and this goes in a bullet you can watch it let's push a bullet out that's what happens you go into the you go into the chamber you start pushing the shaft until it hits the crown hits the crown which is the lands in the grooves, the first part of it. Then you lock it, then you pull it out. And that's a measurement from the lands and grooves, the O give. The O give stops the lands and grooves to the base. So that's it. So I hope this helped you any. I'll try and make it some more videos. If you have any other uh, things you'd like me to, to look at, try and make a video of, I'll be glad to do it. I'm retired and uh, retired electrician, kind of enjoy this. So we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.